Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? Um, thank you so much for the response on my last video. I uh, uploaded a um, comparison review video about the Prada Nylon 2000 and 2005 free edition bag. And maybe I should update you what I did. And in fact, I was very confused whether I should keep one and if I keep one, which one should I keep? I couldn't decide um, from the colors. So I will link it up here definitely so you can go ahead and check it out if you want to see, you know, the comparison between the two styles and the different colors. Anyway, so at the end, I decided to send all four back for the simple reason because A, um, I was way too much confused, I couldn't decide between the color, even though I narrowed it down to beige, I was pretty much sure to get one of the beige, but I didn't know which one. So yeah, because I was so confused, I sent all of them back and I um, thought I should give myself a break and, you know, time to reflect again on which bag I should really get or want. And I don't want to rush uh, through this process since it was an impulse buy. I, uh, in the end, really wanted to make the right decision. So I sent it back, A, because of that reason, and B, I have a wish list, guys. I have a wish list and I made myself this wish list last year and I really want to focus on this wish list and I want to make sure that uh, the money I'm saving is towards those uh, items that I put on my wish list, and I don't want to get distracted, you know, um, uh, by all those beautiful items around me. And of course, there there are some exceptional. Even if I want to stick to the wish list, I totally understand that there are those exceptional moments. However, I for myself, I took the decision that I want to stick to my wish list, and this is what I want to do. Um, if I still think of this particular handbag by the summer this year, then I may be able to get it while I'll be in Italy, so I can go to Prada and purchase it, you know, physically in the store and yeah, so then I'll, I'll at least have the whole experience with the store purchase. But anyway, this is the update about the Prada nylon bag and today I'm back with my mini collection and why I'm doing this collection video is just to also show you and prove myself that I have in the end enough of the mini bags. I actually do not need an additional mini bag um, even though I'm very very um, addicted to mini bags but I thought this is going to be the topic of the day. I'm gonna go through my mini bags just show you the ones I want to do any in-depth review or modeling shots. However, if you really want to have one of the reviews or if you want to have a review of one of the particular handbags, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. And yeah, so I would say let's go into the video. To start with my... One of my all-time favorite mini bag, which is the Pochette Accessoire new model by Louis Vuitton. And this one is now in the Damiazur and I purchased this maybe, uh, might have been nine years ago, guys. I'm sure I purchased this one nine years ago or maybe eight years ago and this particular small pochette accessoire used to be a bag that you carried in your bag and at some point people featured it as well as a mini bag. It comes with this leather strap that I have uh, removed because I prefer to use this one with some gold chains or longer strap to wear it um, crossbody. And in fact, I do have uh, um, a chain by Louis Vuitton as well as uh, a few chains from Organize My Bag. And actually, I just want to show you that I have here some chains that I want to give away um, after this video. So stay tuned for that. Here I have two chains that I like to use with my mini bags. Here I have um, like a rounded rings chain and here more an oval and both of them I believe are um, almost the same size. One is a little bit shorter and those chains are not as long to wear it crossbody 
unless you prefer to have the back you know up on your body but um, you can wear this one for sure as a shoulder bag and I'm just going to demonstrate quickly how I like to you know wear it and there you go so I just um, converted this mini pochette into a shoulder bag you know the, the chain actually is quite long to wear it cross body so I am actually I'm taking back what I said the chains are definitely long enough to wear the small back you know as a crossbody back so stay tuned for the giveaway at the end of this video and let's move on with my collection so the first one again is the pochette accessoire in the Damien Azur then I have another pochette accessoire a new model in the monogram by Louis Vuitton and you guys I used to have all three prints a few years ago when I started collecting uh, Louis Vuitton uh, pieces that was somehow in 2010-2011. I clearly had all three pochette accessoires. I sold then two of them, the one in Damien Ben and the one in um, the monogram. I just kept the one in the Azur. And last year, before the price increase, right before the price increase, I was so, so lucky to get this one new from the store. Um, I was lucky to score one in um, Switzerland and they shipped it to me at my place. So I paid it. I had to pay shipping, which I'm actually not very pleased about it because for the cost of this bag, they should have included the shipping cost or just, you know, take, take uh, you know, um, cover them by themselves, by the store or brand themselves. But anyway, so I was happy to get this bag by the old price tag. It clearly comes as well with this shoulder, little shoulder strap. But I prefer to wear this one as well, you know, with some longer strap or gold chains you know and yeah this is the next one then sticking with the pochette accessoire i have here another one in the new model in the epi leather the color is black and this one i purchased i believe it was 2014 if i'm not mistaken in paris so i had a beautiful trip in paris and this pochette accessoire just was released in the epi so I was very much uh, drawn to it and so I ended up purchasing it and I'm so so happy to have it and as you can tell I just attached another silver chain that I purchased from Louis Vuitton and the inside of this bag is microfiber different than the one in the canvas very very beautiful very soft I do not use this particular bag as much I should actually use it because I'm so afraid that the bag is uh, going to age without being used. This is clearly something that I don't want. So I will um, kind of, you know, put this out maybe and try to wear it often, even during spring and summer, you know. It's a bit of a small bag. You can use it as a clutch, you know, just like this or underneath your arms so it's really really beautiful bag and you know what guys i have the alma bb in the epi black which comes obviously with the longer strap to carry the bag by shoulder or crossbody so i can detach the strap from my alma bb in the epi attach it here and then i have a beautiful black epi or a beautiful black leather strap that goes very nice with this one then the next mini bag is my eva clutch in the monogram by louis vuitton and also this bag i used to have in all three prints i sold the one in damesur the one in dame ben and i just kept this one in the monogram beautiful beautiful bag and as you can tell the patina is um you know the vaqueta is quite patina is dark i really really use this handbag a ton it comes with a gold chain which is currently stored inside it also comes with a longer strap and I purchased myself a detachable and adjustable lead strap by Louis Vuitton itself and I don't know how many millimeters this is uh, maybe two and a half millimeter um, so I purchased this one a few years ago I purchased this one in 2013 together with the strap actually so yeah, I am absolutely happy that I still have this Eva Clutch in my collection. It's a discontinued piece by now. No idea why they discontinued. Such a beautiful, iconic mini bag, guys. 
so if you are looking after this particular clutch i definitely would check out the pre-loved market i'm sure you can find not sure if you will have to pay a premium price tag um, since it's been discontinued but yeah um, this one will clearly never leave my collection then sticking with Louis Vuitton I have here another beautiful mini bag or clutch actually this one is more or less a wallet and chain and it's called the Sunset Boulevard clutch in the uh, vernis leather and the color is Pomme d'Amour Pomme d'Amour was very very big a few years ago like eight years ago it was such a big color in the you know, Louis Vuitton uh, color palette. Uh, they used to have so many bags and accessories in that particular red, which is a true apple red, you know, so, so beautiful. And I remember how many people went about, you know, so many items with, you know, in, in, in this particular color. I'm sad they discontinued this color. They obviously replaced it with different reds. Sometimes it, it looks more reddish, orange reddish. Sometimes it looks more bluish reddish. Anyway, one of my favorite red so far is clearly the Pomme d'Amour. So I purchased this one pre-loved um, maybe six years ago. Yeah, maybe six years ago. And I really paid nothing, to be honest. So it comes with this shoulder strap to carry the bag by, you know, shoulder. I know that this bag came as well with the longer strap. I'm not sure if it came together or if you were intended to buy it separately. Since I purchased this one pre-loft, it didn't came with the longer strap. It has these card slots um, to put some cards in it. It also has this beautiful um, zipper compartment for any cash or coins. So absolutely beautiful bag. I'm so, and guys, it's I bought it pre-loft and if this was released maybe between 2008, 2011, and I purchased it myself five, six years ago. Guys, this piece looks absolutely brand new. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but um, it was absolutely in uh, very good condition. Next mini bag is my Your Promenade clutch. And I was so happy when I got this beautiful bag. And um, as you can tell, uh, is actually very, spacious for being a small bag it looks very very much like the chanel rectangular bag i got mine in the vernis leather and the color is beige like a light beige really really beautiful i purchased this one as well to match one of my louboutin shoes that i have in beige and um, this one comes as well with a longer chain to wear the back you know by shoulder or crossbody the chain itself has also a piece of leather to protect, you know, the shoulder while wearing it. And uh, the back has as well some card slots and the zipper compartment. On the back has even, a, you know, like, like a flap compartment. Very, very nice. So I absolutely love this um, particular Your bag. It was my first Your bag after being um, into Louis Vuitton or into a little bit Chanel. So I really, really like this beautiful one. Even the beautiful uh, mechanism here in the front, the closure mechanism, very, very beautiful. And this canage, um, you know, this canage print here. Absolutely love this handbag. Uh, very, very stunning, very elegant. I'm absolutely in love. So yeah, this is the next um, mini bag in my collection. The next mini bag is my Gigi Mamo mini in the black velvet. I purchased this one 2016 or 2017. 2016 or 2017 and I purchased it after and actually maybe I should mention that as well. Um, some of these handbags have been I've been inspired by other YouTubers. That was the reason why I got them. Not all of them I just, you know, discovered through, you know, uh, I don't know, newspaper or announcement or releases. I really discovered them also through YouTubers. And maybe I should mention that this one, I remember Lisa by Lisa, the world according to Lisa, exactly. She used to be on YouTube. I'm not sure if her channel is still active, but she used to be on YouTube and she featured her um, pronat clutch 
uh, but you were in black and I was so amazed and so inspired by her you know the way she reviewed it that I really wanted to get one and I remember back then I had this particular handbag like over a year on my wish list. I don't know why it took me so long to get it but it did so in the end I am happy that I purchased it and this particular bag got, I got inspired by Mel Soldera also here on YouTube very big on YouTube she is such a cutie such a beautiful person I really love watching her videos and I remember whenever she was featuring a handbag and if I didn't have it in my collection I really got inspired to get some of them um, and this was definitely one of the bags she featured and immediately after watching her video I put this bag on my wish list and it was so hard to get because when this particular one in the velvet was released I don't know they featured it in a runway show then they you know, uh, released a few pieces and it was sold out for a few months. I'm not sure if it was between, like, sold out between two and four months. However, I was not able to get this back in the black velvet, not on the Gucci side, not even on other, um, like, luxury side, like My Teresa or Neta Porte. So, in the end, I found it in uh, London Heathrow while traveling for work and when I had my layover I went to Gucci and they had this one on display well actually they had two they had two they had one on display one on the back so and I was so happy to get one on the back very very nice bag I don't know if it's outdated um, you still can buy the Marmon collection you have different sizes this one is in the mini I am still absolutely in love with this handbag and with the entire collection actually. I, I don't feel like it's outdated, maybe it's not as trendy as it used to be, but it's still very common. You still see it around, people love it and why should you get rid of only because the trend is over and you know what guys, because you still can buy it, I think the trend has been converted to a classic piece. So by now, I believe this particular style is definitely one of the Gucci classic styles. Oh yeah, I'm so happy to have it in my collection. One of my most um, favorite mini bag, the Gucci Mamo in the black velvet. Another beautiful mini bag is my Chloe Drew mini bag in this beautiful gray tone. And um, I believe the color is called Mati Gray. They have uh, multiple handbags in the same color. I absolutely love this bag as well, guys. I got in, you know, when they released this handbag, I was not drawn to it. I was way too much uh, into Louis Vuitton and um, maybe other brands. I never was really into Chloe. And in 2016, I somehow got very much inspired. And one of the person I liked featuring the handbag she used to have this handbag was amy and she, i mean even though i uh, i don't remember if i already had the handbag probably not probably not so anyway i somehow got um had this attention to this particular handbag and i really wanted to have one so i i watched tons of youtube videos reviews hauls you know unboxing and amy featured her once at the same time she used to have one i think she sold it by now she had one in a rose or poudre rose but anyway i was very much inspired clearly by all those beautiful ladies featuring their mini chloe drew and amy was one of them so i ended up purchasing this one and um, at my teresa the thing that i like about this handbag is it's a full leather handbag it's leather outside, it is leather lined inside, has this suede leather that is so, so beautiful, so soft. The whole bag super smooshy and of course it comes with this long chain that it's stored inside at the moment and absolutely beautiful guys. Has this um, clasp here, this closure clasp with this, I don't know how to, you know, like with this stick 
you can stick it you can close it like this so very beautiful i like to wear this handbag um especially with summer dresses i think it gives this oomph you know to the look also the color very very neutral color and i absolutely love this handbag and you know guys i've been having this handbag now for four almost five years and i still love it i still love it very much some of the handbags have already reviews and in case this is the case i would definitely put down below in the comment box the link to the review of the you know respective handbag another clutch or wallet on chain mini bag is this dior your diorama pouch i purchased this one in 2017 in london and guys I have to blame again Mel Soldero. She used to feature this particular bag in her channel. She had it in beige. And at that time, I used to have my wallet on chain in black by Chanel. The chain was way too long. I was so struggling to wear that handbag to make it fit, you know, because my size is one meter, 61 centimeters. It's about five foot three. And the chain on the wallet on chain by Chanel was way too long. When she featured this handbag in her chan on her channel, you know, and uh, she also showed that um, you could detach the strap and the strap itself was also shorter and she herself is also a petite a gal. So I, I really ended up, you know, selling my Chanel walk and replaced it with this beautiful Dior diorama pouch again i got it in london i'm super super excited it's a little bit small than the wallet and chain itself because you have card slots in it but you only have four card slots yeah you only have four card slots versus the chanel walk which i'm gonna feature in a minute has six card slots you have a zipper compartment and then here like a flap pocket which is nice i uh, use this clutch more for events the last time i used it was a wedding a few years ago and so absolutely but you know guys i'm still very much in love with this one i love it you know again the diorama um feature here like the diorama back in a in a small uh back the next handbag as mentioned is the wallet on chain by chanel and again, I used to have one in the black lambskin leather. I sold it to replace it with the Diorama pouch. And this one, guys, was a gift. I have to admit, at some point, I kind of regret selling that handbag, the Chanel walk. But I just, you know, were, was focusing anyway um, towards other handbags in order to forget and I was so, so happy when I saw that I have been gifted this one for my birthday two years ago or two and a half years ago. And lucky and happy that I got it. I got it in this beautiful iridescent navy blue. This is the, the way it's called. And as you can tell, the bag itself has six card slots. Sorry, guys. It has six card slots. I currently have, maybe I should show this one to you guys some of my handbag have inserts some of them don't this particular one has one and i purchased you know like this back organizer or back insert that matches very nice the color of the bag i purchased this insert by samorka and uh, yeah you guys this is how the bag looks like has a zipper compartment here on the front has even another zipper compartment here on the back another flat pocket here and even a mona lisa pocket on the back and yeah i mean again i'm very happy the chain is long for my body frame but what i did now and i got this also by from another video i don't remember who or which video but i purchased on ebay some rings to you know kind of attach them here to uh, to basically um bind the two you know bind this uh this strap together in order to shorten it a little bit and yeah i mean this is it and the next mini bag is my chanel mini or chanel classic mini i don't know if it's a classic but maybe yes maybe and i purchased this one last year for my birthday 
right before the price increase or one of the price increases. This one is in the black lambskin leather with the champagne gold hardware and I'm so happy I was able to purchase this one. So this one is just a black hole and I'm so happy I got this back. Here I have as well as a Morga insert that I got since the interior of this handbag is also made of, out of lambskin. So I really don't want to damage the inside. And as you can tell, it's a um, small bag, guys, but you can fit enough, you know, for your daily use. Absolutely beautiful. And this chain or, you know, leather chain strap is um, definitely shorter than the Chanel mini rectangular. So I can wear this one, you know, by shoulder. And even if I wear it by, you know, as a crossbody bag, it's, it fits my body, you know, frame. So very happy about this one, the mini Classic flap by Chanel. You guys, lastly, I really have to feature this three beautiful handbag by Fordla. And as you can tell, those three are um, as well square handbags, square mini handbags. They really look like the mini by Chanel. Let me actually compare it quickly together. I never did a comparison between the two, but this is how they look side by side. They are almost the same size. I would say I'm sure they are the same size guys yeah definitely the same size and those Fula these are called Fula Metropolis mini bag and I'm so in love with this handbag that I clearly purchased three of them. And here I got inspired by the Lux Babe here on YouTube. I will definitely link her channel down below. You guys, she featured this handbag a few years ago. It was maybe 2015 or 16. Time flies by so fast, guys. Oh my goodness. So the very first one was this uh, beautiful mini red. And I got this one by, from my parents, you know, for my birthday a few years ago and I worn, worn this handbag so much really I abused it so much during any trip this was my bag you know whenever I was traveling this was the one I was carrying in the same year though I got myself from Berlin this one in the navy blue and maybe um, you know they have different styles different colors Mine is tone in tone. This is the one I prefer the most. So navy blue inside and navy blue outside. I really, really like it. As well, this beautiful closing mechanism in the front makes the back super, super elegant and fancy. It comes with a longer strap, guys, to carry the back by shoulder or crossbody. And if I'm not mistaken, this bag comes in three sizes. They have like even a smaller one. And I'm not sure if this one is called mini or nano. This one is the mini and then there is a, a slight bigger version, maybe with a shoulder strap only. Anyway, after a year, I purchased this one in South Italy while I was there on vacation, uh, Christmas vacation, I remember. And this particular one was on sale. So um, very beautiful, the perforated flap here on the front. And as you can tell, it's again, tone in tone, gray. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Guys, I could not recommend this enough. Some of the YouTubers mentioned that the chain is thick into their shoulders, that it, they feel some pain. I don't have this, to be honest. I mean, clearly, if I wear the bag for the full day and stuffed it with my heaviest wallet or, you know, two mobile phones, then, of course, at some point it hurts. But I think in this case, or in that case, any handbag will hurt, you know, at that point of time. So for me, I don't have that issue, guys, but please um, bear in mind that it comes with a chain with no protection. So if you have sensitive shoulders, this bag may not be for you. Uh, but for me, I absolutely love it. And I'm so, so happy that I still have all three in my collection and I actually never will sell them. And yeah, you guys, this was it. These were all my mini bags. And as promised, I really want to give away two of the chains that you could use on your mini bags. Those chains um, are from Organize My Bag and it will come with this dust bag. And then here you have those two chains. And one has more an oval, a round ring and one has more an oval ring. 
one might be a little bit shorter than the other but you can wear you can attach it to your mini bags and wear the bag you know by shoulder or by crossbody and yeah you guys the only thing you will have to do in order to win this um chains are you know you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel you have to like this video and please put down below a comment where you mention your favorite mini bag or either you have it in your collection or maybe one that is on your current wish list and yeah you guys this is it for today's video thank you so so much for watching see you soon on my next video bye